Well, in medical news, Spectrum Health Medical Group Division of Medical Genetics includes both physicians and genetic counselors as health care providers. They work together to aid in the diagnosis of individuals and families who may be at risk for a genetic condition. Dr. Lori Seaver is a board-certified medical geneticist and is here to speak with us today about the reasons why an individual or family might actually be referred for genetics counseling and consultation and what they should expect along the way. It all sounds kind of scary, but you're here to sort it out for us. Right. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you. First of all, what is a medical geneticist? Okay. A medical geneticist is a physician um, who has specialized in the field of medical genetics. Most of us started out in another field like pediatrics or adult medicine or OBGYN okay. and then chose to specialize in just the very small subset of conditions that are genetic. So walk us through what exactly what it is that you do. Kind of break it down for right. us. Um, as a geneticist, we take um, you know, there are more than 20,000 human genes, so practically anything could walk through our door any day. Mm -hmm. And so we take a very comprehensive and holistic approach to the patient since we don't take a part, care of a part of their organ systems, mm -hmm. we have to look at the whole big picture mm -hmm. and we take a very comprehensive history, um, physical examination when that's required and we really try and figure out it, with all the advances in genetic testing technology what applies to that patient or that family at that time. What are some of the benefits of going to a, cons a consultation of this sort? Um, most of the time people do have questions about what runs in their family mm -hmm. and when a new diagnosis is made that is genetic or potentially could be genetic or inherited and so people have a lot of questions and so we spend a lot of time um, answering those questions at our appointments. Our appointments are scheduled um, usually for at least an hour mm -hmm. and so we spend a lot of time talking and helping people understand um, the diagnosis or the workup for that diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people feel like when they've left that they've been through a science lesson yeah. because we sit and, and really explain things in a way that they can understand with handouts. Um, so you know most most everybody has something that runs in their family and oh. so we go through all that. And I uh, had a baby about four and a half months ago so mm -hmm. genetic counseling consultations I mean mm -hmm. those two words just kind of were everywhere the whole time I mean it really is a lot to think of and to consider because sometimes really knowing the facts seems kind of scary to someone right. but it's all about prevention in a sense too isn't it knowing right. knowing your family history. Right and it does sound scary mm -hmm. sometimes but I think that that's what we help do is we take the mystery out of it and we take the scariness out of it it by really explaining it um, in a way that people can understand and really it gives them that proactive you know they feel like now they're armed with information and they can be proactive about their health care and their family's health care because sometimes you know uh, I'm very close with my family I happen to know a lot about my family history but there are many circumstances where people maybe they were adopted or whatever and they mm -hmm. don't know much about their history is this some where you can step in and help them out in that case yeah or? sometimes because um, many genetic conditions happen um, for the first time in just that one person too mm -hmm. so sometimes the family history doesn't make that much difference um, sometimes it does and so um, yes we can we still see people who are not very aware of their family or only know partial mm -hmm. um, family history and we can still help those families and those individuals so if you can kind of break it down for us we have a couple of minutes of, of what a typical session would be like if I was to come in to see okay. you Okay. Um, usually we have um, you know, plenty advance notice when a patient is coming and we start preparing for the visits, um, sometimes weeks in advance because we do have to gather lots of medical records from other specialists, um, other laboratory studies. Um, we may call the family ahead of time to start gathering family history mm -hmm. um, at the visit. We, a genetic counselor um, who we work with usually starts the visit and will um, again gather more history that we weren't maybe able to get or get more family history. We draw out the family tree that we call a pedigree mm -hmm. um, and we analyze it and then as the physician you know I perform the physical examination um, and make the decisions about what testing might be appropriate and then the genetic counselor helps us after the visit to um, get that accomplished you know where the testing is going to be done mm -hmm. whether it has to be um, uh, 
authorized by insurance first and so really helps to coordinate with the family how to get any testing that's recommended mm -hmm. done because it isn't the type of testing where you just walk down to the lab and you get your results you right. know that afternoon you know the, this type of testing is very complex so this does play a big role in, in pregnancies correct sometimes mm -hmm. when it comes, especially those women who have miscarriages or they just right. can't carry a child or right. maybe down syndrome that sort of thing that's where you guys step in and help right, right. there's lots of indications for people who might be referred all the way from from infants all the way through older people. There's, you know, indications at every age group, but a lot of genetics does have to do with childbearing and complicated pregnancies and working with, you know, with women who have, who are at risk or who do have a pregnancy that's complicated. All right, fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome. Absolutely. All right, well, the Spectrum Health Medical Genetics is located at 25 Michigan Street Northeast in Suite 2000. For more information, you can call them at 616-391-2700. You must have a referral from your physician to actually schedule an appointment. And coming